I am Muhammad Shahid Shafiq, District and Sessions Judge. Today's topic is communication skills. In this session, we shall discuss a few general mistakes we do while drafting pleading or judicial order. In the first part of this lecture, we talk about articles, the, a, or, an. I have written two sentences and ask you to read carefully and try to identify mistakes. Sentences are the complainant Aslam Khan lodged report on February 20, 2020 against the accused Salim Koso. Complainant visited court to record his evidence against accused. In the first sentence, the used before word complainant. It should not be placed here as name of complainant Aslam Khan has been mentioned. Similarly in second part of the sentence the has been used before word accused. It is also not necessary as name of accused has been written. So we can say if name has been written, there is no need to use article the. Now see second sentence. Here article the is necessary as name of complainant has not been shown and similarly the is to be added before word accused as name of accused is not given. Please read these sentences carefully and identify mistake if any. The plaintiff Aslam Khan filed civil suit against the defendant Salim Koso on February 20, 2020. Plaintiff visited court to record his evidence against defendant. The correct sentence would be as Plaintiff Aslam Khan filed civil suit against defendant Salim Koso on February 20, 2020. Article the is not needed before plaintiff and defendant as their names have been given. In second sentence plaintiff name is not given and therefore the is needed. The plaintiff visited court to record his evidence against the defendant. Read the sentences and identify mistakes. The Judge M. A. Kalim announced judgment in the suit number 25 of 2019 and imposed cost against the plaintiff Aslam Khan under Section 35A of the Code of Civil Procedure, 1908. Judge provided copy of judgment to plaintiff and asked him to deposit cost. Correct answer is. Judge M. A. Kalim announced judgment in suit number 25 of 2019 and imposed cost 5,000 rupees against plaintiff Aslam Khan under section 35A of the Code of Civil Procedure, 1908. The judge provided copy of judgment to the plaintiff and asked him to deposit the cost. English has two articles, the, and, a, or, an. The is used to refer to specific or particular nouns, a, or, an, is used to modify nonspecific or nonparticular nouns. The is called definite article. A, or, an is called indefinite article. For example, if I say, let's argue the case, I mean a specific case. I filed the case. I mean a specific case. I supplied the documents. I mean specific documents. Second part of the lecture. In this part we talk about verb. Please read the following sentences. I read for you. Shahid Shafiq and Javed Ahmed have entered into an agreement on March 20th. 2020 for designing online training programs for district court judges and the members of the bar. Shahid Shafiq has informed to the Director General of the Academy on March 23, 2020 and thereafter start to work. They have developed three programs on March 26, 2020. Kazi has assigned many three training programs to district court judges and the advocates on March 27, 2020. Is there any mistake in these sentences? If so, please identify. Word, have, is not required here. 
Look, I have deleted it. Have, plus their form of verb, is a present perfect tense. It would not be appropriate to use this form here as specific date of doing a job has been given and therefore simple past indefinite tense will be used. In all three sentences date has been given. I have deleted has, or, have, used in these sentences. Used past indefinite sentence. Be remember. When there is a date in sentence, always use past indefinite means only second form of verb. No need to use helping verbs such as, has or, have. A few examples may be as under. Number 1. Complainant Salim lodged fur on March 20, 2020. Number 2. The plaintiff filed application for appointment of commissioner on January 11, 2020. Number 3. The court heard the parties on March 10, 2020. Number 4. I joined judiciary on February 20, 2018. Number 5. I appeared in judgeship test on January 20, 2020. Here I use second form of verb as date has been given in the sentence. Please read the following sentences. I read for you sir. Shahid Shafiq and Javed Ahmed have been designing training programs for judges and members of the bar. They have been planning to submit before Director General for approval. They have also been developing many programs for prosecutors. They have been assigning many training programs to district court judges and the advocates. Is there any mistake in these sentences? If so, please identify. Has been designing, or have been designing, are the example of present perfect continue. This tense is used when specific time has been given. In these sentences time is not mentioned and therefore it may be simple present continue sentence or present indefinite if it is about a habit. Correct sentence would be. Shahid Shafiq and Javed Ahmed are designing online training programs for judges and members of the bar. Or. Shahid Shafiq and Javed Ahmed design online training programs for judges and members of the bar. Here specific time has been given and therefore present perfect continue sentence has been used. I read sentence number 1 and 6. Judge Shahid Shafiq has been hearing the case for the last 30 minutes. Judge Shahid Shafiq is hearing the case. It means doing now. Magistrate has been conducting inquiry since last week. Magistrate is conducting inquiry. It means doing now.